Okay, just came from Best Buy and picked up my Droid Incredible uh, 8 megapixel camera. A lot slimmer than my previous phone. Droid. Motorola Droid. Droids on the left. Uh, well, both of them are droids. Motorola Droids on the left and Droid Incredible is on the right. Alright. Okay, before we start the test off, this one's running a 16 gig class 2 card. This one's running a 16 gig class 6. Uh, Bugless Beauty version 1 leaked from Pete, overclocked at 1 gigahertz. This one is stock native, 1 gigahertz. Minimum speed, I think, on this one's 250. Same thing on this one. Alright, let's start both videos. Uh, it's not going to be, since I don't have a tripod, this is the best one I, I can do. Uh, it's not going to focus very well on this one. The text, it does say HTC Incredible on there, though. Okay, put that there. This one's Motorola logo. Uh, this is a Verizon box of the Droid Incredible. There's actually the custom uh, boot for uh, Bugless Beauty. Uh, Bugless Beast. Sorry about that. Bugless Beast version 1.0 leaked. Okay, I'm going to wait for this one to say uh, Verizon before I declare any type of winner. Keep in mind, I also did turn this phone on first. Uh, this one picked up Verizon signal quite fast. Now it's just reading the SD card, which I'm sure this one finished by now. Okay. Oh, keep in mind, um, since this was my primary phone, as of today, I actually um, hard reset the entire phone, and I installed a couple of applications that would not completely, like, uh, stock. Downloaded the weather widget. Pretty much arranged the icons similar. There's a set CPU. I couldn't. This one, I don't know if you can see. Let me zoom in. Wi Fi tether, of course, I can't have that on this since this one has yet to be rooted. Alright. Uh, Facebook, Buzz, Twidroid. I didn't install Twidroid on this one since it comes with um, Peeper. I forgot, HTC's native application. Okay, both of them are running on Wi-Fi. So, this isn't really testing out the 3G antennas, it's going to be testing out the Wi-Fi chip. Let's turn on the browsers on each one. Alright, there you go. We're going to go to... Let's see... Okay, dslreports.com slash mspeed. Alright. Bookmark. Okay, I'm going to test out the one megabit. And on this one, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to test out the 1 megabit. Okay. So, test it out there. Test it out there. I don't really need to hit them at the same time since it's actually going to give me a speed on there. On how fast it went. Wow. It's like the Motorola Droid 1. With a 1461 kilobits a second. It's so hard to do this. Oh, I think this one just may have crashed. Let's try that again. Sorry, just a quick text message. Maybe that's what affected it. Interesting. 520. This one performed almost triple. The Motorola Droid almost performed triple of what the HTC Sense can do. As far as application switching, they're pretty much the same. Keep in mind, though, that this one is overclocked. Let's play a quick song. Know that I'm two levels above you, baby. Hug me, baby. I'ma make you love me, baby. I'ma make ten you years and we baby. still running this motherfucker. Yeah. 
And that's pretty much it. I'll give them a thorough, a better uh, comparison a little bit later. But for now, um, it looks like the Motorola Droid overclocked out 1 gigahertz is actually performing a lot faster. Um, Alright, thank you for watching. Bye.